Hey church girl and guys who watch this, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zara Marie and on here you find clean Christian content very authentic conversations as we have conversations we just don't have in church. Um, for those who are new here, please press subscribe, comment, share, like with your friend. Um, so I did a recorded a video for a church and I was in clothes and my ear never looked too bad so I might as well come on here and talk. I'm not going to edit this video so however it comes out, it comes out. If I make an error, it's so it go. Um, but I really, I know I've been MIA for different reasons and I really wanted to just come and, you know, chit chat with you a little bit and give you some sense of encouragement because it's so important for us to be honest about where we are in life's journey. And you'll find a lot of breakdowns, a lot of mental breakdowns, a lot of people going ghost online, a lot of people just being sad and depressed because we have to live up to unrealistic expectations. We mean in just humans in general. And it gets even more complicated when you put yourself out there or you're a leader in any capacity, then, you know, it just gets real. It just really gets real. And for those who are at the retreat, you, you understood the magnitude of it. And so let's backtrack a little bit. Before the retreat, I was all right. Me, me not try to demonstrate. Me not say me can demonstrate very well. So I'll use this candle for example. It's not a very good example, but we're gonna use it. So you see, this candle is not half. It's not half full. It's not very full. It's it's about three quarter ways. I'm very bad at measurements. So before the retreat, I was like down here. I was at a place where so much was going on. I want to say so much is not even a big thing. It's just some little things. And all of these things were happening. I felt like these were too small to talk about. I felt like they were pale in comparison to what other people were going through. So obviously I never spoke about them. Um, I was just on the go. You need to get this retreat together. Ladies are relying on you. Um, we need to execute this program as quickly as possible to get it out of the way because I mean March was supposed to be the time for it right and of course for those who do follow me and you've seen my videos obviously there's a wedding this year so obviously I'm also in the middle of wedding planning and I remember people saying why do you want to postpone the retreat like don't you think you've taken on too much I was like no we can do it we can do it blah 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 but I was doing all of that to fulfill the needs of others that was in the in my head Zara, you need to fulfill the needs of others. This is what God has called you to do. And, you know, church leaders feel this all the time. Um, people who, if you're in charge of a youth group, you feel this all the time. The needs of others become the forefront. And then you are so low. So as I said, I was down here. So because I was down here, then when everything happened with the retreat happening, you know, you're planning a wedding, you're dealing with different personalities, um, money, school, work, everything just was happening all at once. And then what I had here moved down. So now I was empty. I was low. When I said low, guys, low. And I cannot record a video about... Oh, here are five tips to study your Bible if I'm not in the place. You feel me? And that is why I think these conversations are so important. And, I'm, and I want us to have these conversations. And yes, I am nowhere near where I need to be. Um, I'm nowhere where I need to be to sit down and plan content. Because that takes, a, that takes me to be spiritually strong. Because for me to search the Bible, for me to, to give, to pour, I have to be full. Or at least halfway. Cause remember that when the retreat came and during the planning of the retreat it literally took everything when i said it took everything it took everything um i mean i love what i do i feel like it is what god wants me to do i think it's a, it's a huge calling but it can't get taxing i'm not even going to i'm not even going to go around it can't get taxing and for me god be praised i i have a solid team i have a solid solid support system but i never tapped into it i never tapped into the support system i never tapped into the team because i felt like everybody was going through stuff and i never needed to and my truth is that you know i'm gonna read a book today and the book that i said may have an issue 
instead of boundaries i set up walls and because i set up walls then i don't take help from others very well and if you can relate you can comment and say i can relate so i don't take help from others very well especially when as i say especially when you compare your issues to other because people are going through crap right so like you are going through one like a something yeah not the money or yeah work i stress you out but like what is that and people are out there losing lives and stuff you know so so yeah back tracks <laughs> i know i'm kind of all over the place but because as i said i'm not editing this video <laughs> So, um, the retreat came and it, it took a lot. And for me, it wasn't even the execution. The execution of the program took a lot, but it was what happened because of the execution of the program. Because I, I had a lot of messages to reply to. I was on the phone for very late, until very late in the night. Um, after the retreat also, there was a lot of heavy weight that I had to bear for people. Um, what I try to do is that during the retreat, everybody has their little rooms and everything so that they, we do have room leaders, but a lot of you lovely people prefer to talk to me and then your room leaders, which is fine. I love talking to you too, but, and, and that is why sometimes you message me and I don't reply right away. Not because sometimes I don't have the time, but sometimes I'm just not in the space. Right? So what happened is that you had over 500, you had almost 800 people, over 800 people signing up for the retreat. And maybe um, at one point, I think we had almost 500 people attending. And a lot of these young, a lot of you young ladies wanted to talk to me directly. And I was not full spiritually. I was not pouring into myself. So I could not, I was giving to you from a very empty place. And I know it I know for people who talk to me and mentors are that don't make any sense because <laughs> bless me. I know you might be saying Zara that don't make any sense because I spoke to you and that was sound advice and and yes, because sometimes God uses us even when we're empty. You know, oh that look kinda cool from my face, what do you think? God uses us even when we're empty. And you know, after the retreat and i i took a step back and i kind of did an evaluation and you know spoke to some people about everything that was happening in my life and just felt i felt empty and i needed to just pause for a minute and it's not about being selfish at all it's not about being selfish and this quote one of my friends sent me this quote and it really 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 res resonated with me and it said no i have to i have to look for it because i don't want to misquote it because if i misquote it if i misquote it it's a good fly over my head your spiritual expenditures need not exceed your spiritual income let me read that again your spiritual expenditures need not exceed your spiritual income guys auntie ellen is the goat greatest of all times you know this i know this sometimes she says some stuff and i have a meds it but when she said that to me i literally just broke because i realized that the truth is i was doing way more than i had in the cup i was giving way more than i had in the cup because it was on this quest to do what god says do what god says do what god says god says that you need to do this and i know that somebody watching this can relate because we go through it so much as youth leaders when you feel like you have to do this because you're obligated or you have a position and you have to fulfill the role because god called you to but god also called you to make sure that you are in a spiritually sound place right so so yeah i went through that and for the past couple of days um so before before that i decided to not film or edit because i wanted i kind of knew that my bandwidth was low and and i could not tackle the retreat life you know work um planning the wedding i couldn't tackle everything with youtube so i was like you know what i'm pouring into the community anyways i'm pouring over instagram i'm pouring into this retreat and i know it's going to be life-changing i know people are going to be blessed i know people's hearts are going to be transformed i know people will get some some emotions that they need to deal with we will get dug up like i knew that was going to happen so i knew that taking a break from youtube was going to be fine because if you never caught me on youtube you would catch me at the retreat you would catch us at the retreat we would and then you know looking into when bible study will start back and all of that at this point so so yeah 
you feel like so so i was like yeah so for the past couple of week, days the retreat was like a week or uh, two weeks ago and i've just been trying to refill the cup in the nowhere year so um it's at a place now where i don't feel as low and um I can talk to God again. I can read my Bible again. Um, feel like, like I'm. I can know. My cup is now being filled up. So why am I coming on here to rant? It's not because. I'm coming on here because. I know. That there is one person who can relate. So Zara, where are you going to go from here? You must be asking. Like when I'm in a space where I feel like I'm spiritually low, how do I move forward? I know that's something that you're thinking about because that's what I said to myself. And the first thing I had to do was stop. I had to pause and just do nothing. Sometimes we try to hear the voice of God and we do a bag of things so we can hear the voice of God, but we never hear his voice because we don't pause. Be still. Like, just stop. And so I did that. I stopped. It came with a lot of... And then it was during a time when I had to face a lot of character defects that I had. You know, so so... So when I stopped and I had to face those character defects and I was like, but these are the things that you need to be working on, Zara. And with a cup that is that is that is empty, a cup that is that is fully drained, you need to get in a space where you can give God the space to work on these things, you know. So I I've been doing that. And my formula is the formula that I stay true to. When I tell you ladies guys i don't know no no me my cry Ooh. i'm not ready to be the safe my cry it is what it is um we are the ones who leave god he never leaves us he's there he's standing up there and he's waiting on you and it is the most beautiful experience when you've been low or you're in a low place. And as I said, I'm recording this video not out of the place. I was very intentional about still recording this video even though I'm not where I need to be yet because I want to see that it's a real experience. You go through it all the time. I have gone through it already. I go through it all the time. It has never been this bad to be honest. Maybe because I've never been spending so much with such low income. Um... But the formula is the same with the God in whatever way. For me, it's through journaling. During the time when I was low, I had stopped journaling completely. If I stop journaling, I know there's something wrong with me because that's how I talk to God. That's how I connect with Him. So I stopped journaling. I was having worship, but kind of just like ritualistic. At least I had to change my worship format. Um, so that's also something that you can do if you feel like your cup is low. Just reach out to God in the way that you do it. Not the way that somebody else tells you to do it. Not the way that you see a friend. Not the way you see on TikTok. Not the, you don't have to get anything fancy. You know, you don't have to. Of course, I would want to tell you to go get a Dear Church Girl journal. But you can just get a notebook. You can write in your phone. Like There is so, so much that you can do. You know? And I mean, I reached out to him. And it's been been interesting some days in some days in drink me up some days and send some word my way and i look at him and i was like wow <laughs> i posted something on instagram this morning and somebody messaged me they're like welcome back and i'm like i'm not back yet this is not me this is just some things where god just has said to me i'm gonna just gonna say it back it's not like you know i'm in a i'm kind of like in a creative room where i don't really feel as inspired but it's because my cup is empty so i don't have time to tap into I don't have time to tap into resources tap into the space where i give other people resources and it's important that i say all of this because that's what this channel is about authenticity meeting you where you are and relating to you as a young christian i know it's not easy i know it's rough i know the patch in life 
seems as if sometimes oh, what is it even worth it why am i always fighting you know why am i always having to go back through this cycle <sighs> but yeah if you're in a low season or if your cup is empty go back to god he will fill it for you he's filling it for me it's by a little drip by drip <laughs> i mean it but i had to be intentional about it i had to stop and start i had to go back to him i had to say i'm sorry for leaving or i'm sorry for becoming complacent and self-reliant and here is what we will be doing going forward here is what we'll be you know here here are this the things that i set for myself I'm going to be spending more time in the word. I'm going to be spending more time praying. Not trying to meet some unrealistic expectation that somebody set because you need to be doing these things as a Christian. But by just... Like, I'm like a kid, you know, when you find something new? That's me. Yeah, not by setting these unrealistic things, but just by trying to hear God. Or not because I feel guilty. Like I remember one time somebody said to me, I feel like I'm just a Christian because I feel guilty about the fact that God has been good to me so I owe him worship but I don't generally feel like I need to be here as a Christian because I love him and I want to surrender my life and it kind of made me think like why am I a Christian do I genuinely love God do I genuinely appreciate his goodness and or am I just afraid of hell or am I just guilty about the fact that I need to serve him because you know in good Hmm. Food for thought. Why are you a Christian? You can leave your comments below. Why are you a Christian? Why do you serve God? I mean, I might upload this on a Friday. It might be Sabbath evening. Why are you Adventist? Why do you keep the Sabbath? Why do you worship Him wholeheartedly? Sometimes we need to stop and take audit of these things. Because sometimes we don't know anymore. Sometimes we don't know anymore. And I know I'm rambling. Tell it to ramble never hurt nobody. Tell it to ramble never hurt nobody. So, all in all, I want you to focus on where you are, how you got there, and how you move forward. That's what I'm doing. I know where I am. I know why I got there. Spiritual expenditures are more than your spiritual income. Spiritual expenditures exceeded by spiritual income. That's it. There it is. There it is. And other youth leaders out there, if you if you have a ministry, if you if you do social media, if you have a youth group at church, if you are just a strong friend, whatever, whatever, however you fall, wherever you fall, it is okay to take a break, to set boundaries. Married one book name boundaries right now it's a drape me up. Let me tell you because I know somebody who asked me what the book name. Let me tell you what the man named John Cloud. Every I re, I've read parts of it, but I'm just reading it again. And I'm telling you, it's just yeah, Henry Cloud and John Thompson. Not John Cloud. Kinda got it right. But um it's okay to say no. It's okay. It's respectfully. It's also okay to take a step back and audit your life so that you can fill your cup. Because if you don't, you're gonna get drained. When you're drained, when you're drained, the work that you should be doing becomes work. Is it, is it anymore your ministry? you are not blessed by it really even though it kind of it kind of it's kind of mixed up because the retreat is what kind of draped me up the retreat is really what put a lot of things in perspective for me because i realized that you know i needed to change a lot and uh, yeah anyways um as i said youth leaders the strong friend anybody who is in charge of anything take stock take audit know when to pause no when to pause thanks for watching bye